If you're taking the digital SAT and want to know a mind-blowing Desmos hack that is brand new to the Blue Book app as of this week, pay attention because today I'm going to talk about a new feature that the College Board has just rolled out in Desmos on the Blue Book app and it's really exciting. So let's say that you're given some points for a graph and you need to figure out what the equation of that graph is. Desmos just added a feature called auto regression and here's how it works. Let's say you're given some points like two comma five you have on a line and maybe you have another point three comma seven. In the past, you could do a linear regression by doing y1 tilde mx1 plus b, right? Which still works, but here's what's really cool. You don't even have to remember this anymore. All you have to do is fill in the table, which you get to by pushing the plus sign up here and then going to table. And then look at this, you've pushed this little button and it automatically does a linear regression, boom. Now, let's say you wanna do a quadratic regression. You've got three points, right? Three points determine a parabola. I could do four comma nine and we could do a quadratic regression. That's too linear. So we have to do four comma 12. There we go. Now we got a quadratic regression. It is gonna show you the parabola that those three points rate. Three points establish a parabola, three points establish a circle, two points establish a line. So you can see linear, quadratic, cubic, that's gonna have like an X cubed term. It doesn't have a circle in here, so you still might wanna use old fashioned regression for circle equations or when the college board gives you a regular equation. I can show you that really quickly. Like let's say they give you a formula you can always create a y1 and then you use tilde. That's the secret to creating regressions. You put up the format. But if it's like ax to the b power or something like that, plus c, you can do that. And then we just have to put x1. So this is obviously very ugly, but you can see how it created a regression according to this formula. So if the college board gives you a formula in the problem, they give you a few points and they ask you which of the following is if x equals this, what would y equal? You can find the equation of the graph and then plug it back in. So anyhow, really exciting thing that's just been added because it's just gonna make things a lot faster if you are trying to find equations from points. You can even take graphs that exist, pluck the points off of them and plug them in and then figure out what the graph of it is, right? That's another way that you can use this. So check it out, update your Blue Book app, let me know how it goes. If you want more awesome Desmos tips, like when not to use Desmos, check out our other videos on our channel, our TikTok, or Instagram. I'll see you guys soon.